हेलो स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज़ टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ सो एज वी नो दैट वी हैव फिनिस्ड टू चैप्टर फ्रॉम साइंस एंड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस दिस चैप्टर एंड दिस इज़ द लास्ट चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर सेकेंड टर्म सिलेबस एंड आई होप यू आर स्टरिंग एट योर होम एज आई हैव गिवन यू ऑल द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स नाउ यू हैव टू स्टर्ड learning the question answers okay and as our discussions are also going on so now it is not so much difficult for you i think uh, so today we will start this chapter from science chapter 4 weather and seasons so first of all we have to know about the different forms of water so here it is given in your book water is present in three forms what are they ice water and water vapor so uh, solid water S- solid water means ice uh, so where we get ice the refrigerator isn't it so uh, when water freezes uh, it transform to ice and liquid water means uh, liquid water means which is wet and this form of water is familiar to us because we use it in our daily life we use liquid water in washing drinking and in many ways we use liquid water and water vapor is the gaseous form of water which is present in the air so when we uh, hit some water we can see some gaseous supplements comes out isn't it so water changes its form by heating or by cooling now we will know about the water cycle so the water cycle is the continuous journey water takes from the sea to the sky by the help of sun rays and then again water lands back to the sea by the way of rain so uh, that means what the sun which drives the water cycle the sun rays heat water in ocean seas river and water change into gas that is water vapor and disappear this water vapor then form clouds and when clouds become heavy it uh when uh it condenses what into rain and this water then again go to the go to the uh, seas oceans so this process continues okay this cycling of water in and out of atmosphere is a important aspect of the weather patterns on earth now look at the picture here you can see that uh, with the help of sun rays it takes uh, water from seas isn't it you can see here it takes uh, water from seas with the help of sun rays and this then made clouds okay and when the clouds become heavy it comes to comes to the earth in the form of rain then this water flows flows down and then again it go back to the sea okay and this process continues okay uh um, now we will discuss about changing weather so um weather is the day to day or hour to hour changes in the atmosphere for example nowadays we can see that uh, uh, rain is falling at a time and after some time sun is coming out isn't it so weather changes because of 
sun rain clouds um, and uh, winds so in india we have many seasons such as uh, spring summer winter okay so okay so now uh, we, uh, we have to understood about the difference between weather and season so season are patterns in weather during a specific part of the year like in summer it is hot and in winter it is cold isn't it so this pattern repeats every year so this is season and what is weather weather is uh, what is going out outside right now like if it is rainy or if it is sunny so like this and now we will know how the sun affects the weather so we know that uh, the sun is the source of most of the energy in the world and sun's uh, sun warms uh, warms up everything in our planet isn't it so uh, we also know that uh, our earth moves around the sun and that is the only and uh, that is why the position of sun keeps on changing during morning and evening the rays are slanting so we do not feel uncomfortable now you just take a, a test by yourself mm, suppose uh, you wake up uh, in the morning okay and you just go and stand under the sun so uh, you will not feel any discomfort and uh, morning sun provides us vitamin d which is essential for our body so in the morning if you stand under the sun it will not feel too much hot it will be comfortable for your body okay but in the afternoon when you are in the school can you go and stand for an hour in the ground no you can't because at noon the sun is at its highest point and sun's uv rays are most intense but again in the evening it is fine you will not feel too much hot because of sun rays Uh, uh, because uh, sun rays uh, at that time do not give so much heat so uh, so now look at the picture this is morning so sun rises in the east and in the morning like uh, up to 9 am it is it is comfortable you can stand under the sun and it is also good for our health okay but look at the look at this picture in the afternoon it is over the head and at that time in the noon it gives too much heat so we can't stand like this and it also affect our body and in the evening again it is comfortable we can stand under the sun so like this with the changes in the position of the sun the weather effects so today up to this next day we will discuss the last part okay thank you